down to the low side and follow Jeff oh, Bodine. Crash. The crash is occurring in turn three. Pot Bodine. There's another car spinning up through there, and the car's going by. Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt, course leader, and heavy damage to the Goodrich Chevrolet. Well, you talk about things that happen during a season that uh, can have major impact on a championship, and this is a possibility here. Let's hope that Dale is okay and that Todd Bodine is all right. There is heavy damage to both of their cars in turn three. And both ends of Todd Bodine's car. See the front worst, and the rear. Worst possible spot going in the corner when the car has top speed, probably. Here's top, the Earnhardt and Todd Bodine are going to get together going in turn three. Todd Bodine goes up, they make contact, turns Bodine around. Earnhardt, meanwhile, spins and will go up and hit the wall. Boy, look at those roof flaps doing that job, yeah. keeping that car on the ground. The 75 car got off the ground after the initial impact, but it appears as if the uh, roof flaps did their work in that instance also. Dale Earnhardt is out of the car, and we're glad to see him okay. Talking with the safety workers up there in the third turn, and Todd Bodine also gets out of his car, so both drivers okay. Another angle of this crash. Right, crash door. There's Earnhardt. Let's watch, see if we can watch Earnhardt and see where he makes contact with it. It is going to be the outside retaining wall. He goes up and makes contact with the front. Pretty significant contact, though. He didn't catch any brakes there because he'd been better off if the back end had went in there because the car would have been easier to fix than the front. 